Okay, good morning, good morning. Today is December the 28th that I'm making this video. And I wanted to come on and do a little update because I told you guys at the end of the month I would come on and do a little update of the um, liquid fasting that I've been doing since um, December the 4th. And I wanted to just come back and, you know, share some of the things that I've been doing. Like, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not none of those things. So, this is just what works for me. It may not work for you. So, you know, just, you know, just make sure you, you know, consult with your doctor and, you know, do what's best for you and do the program that works best for you. Because not all things work the same for all of us so first let me say that so starting december the 4th i have been doing my version of liquid diet and i say my version because it's not really a full full liquid diet because i do eat soup and i don't like um blend my soup to make it full liquid you know i eat any type of soup i want if i buy cans of chicken noodle soup i'll eat one of those like um i've been doing cream of broccoli soup uh and i've been doing what's the other soup i had i had a tortito soup that was really good i had like a shrimp and corn chowder soup that was really good I had a uh, chicken and dumpling soup that I got from Giant Eagle that was really good. So I've been mixing my soups up. And so my diet has consisted of me getting back on drinking my protein in the morning, which I, I usually put my protein shake with my, I usually have a cup of decaf coffee and I add my protein shake to my coffee. That's how I like it because I like it warm. So that's how I've been doing that in the morning. And that keeps me full, like, really long through the day. And i also been getting back into making sure I take my vitamins every day. So I've been doing that for this full month. i also been doing this. This is the green powder. It has, like, my vegetables in it. So I've been drinking this. And how I drink this is I put it in unsweetened almond milk. Then I add a little bit of almond creamer to it. That gives it a little bit of sweetness. And it's very good. Like, it, this is good with, even without that. But I found that it's better when I put it in almond milk and add and a little bit of the creamer. The almond creamer. Someone I watched a video on YouTube and someone told me that's how they do theirs. And it works out very good. And I found this like in big lots. And it just has all your greens in it. And I bought two different kinds. So I had this for a while and I wasn't using it. So this is one of the things that I had and I just started using. So of course I do protein shakes. Um... I still struggle with drinking water, but I try to make myself drink water during during the day. I can that's the one thing I can say through this that I can do so much better at is drinking more water. But then I've been doing a, a lot of teas, green tea, you know, cuz I like hot things, so I've been making me tea and stuff like that at night or when I'm at work, I drink a cup of tea. So and that's what's been working for me. And I also, like, I do have some juices. Like, I, I have, like, diet cranberry juice, diet grape cranberry juice. But I haven't drunk any of those yet. I do drink this, my diet Snapple once in a while when I feel like I need some flavor. I go between this or the diet green tea. I drink those two. I have a case of those over there. So, but... And then when I eat my soup, my soup is like my meal of the day. So when I eat my, like, I, and I don't do this at no different, no certain times. The only thing that I'm consistent with is drinking my decaf protein, my decaf coffee in the morning, my protein. Like, I drink that in the morning. And then I might not have nothing for a while after that. And then when usually... 
when I'm at work, I usually eat my soup or between seven and eight o'clock. I usually eat my soup and I'm pretty good. Like when I first started this, it was the first like week was very hard at night. You know, when you're at work, I wanted to eat and stuff like that. And then, you know, with it being the holidays, we had all these snacks and cookies and candies and things like that. So that was like really hard for me. But what I did was like in the night when I felt like I wanted something, I, I we... I ate a popsicle, like I, I, not even a whole popsicle, I took half, I just cracked the popsicle in half and I ate half of the popsicle and I kind of like took that, that sweet toothness away from me. So that worked out for me. And then at home I have, um, chocolate, the, the healthy choice chocolate fudge pops, popsicles, you know, so and I've ate a, ate in a few of those, but like, but for the most part, like I've been doing pretty good with the craving of like not wanting the, the snacks or I think I've been like, um, fighting it and being more mental, mentally not able to, you know, to be mentally strong, not to, to, to want to eat those things. So even though at some time it's very hard not to want those things, not to want to grab a potato chip or something like that. But as far as this month, when I started in December, I think I just got to the point where I that was like, I, I need to do something and I'm going to do something. And so I just think that that just made me strong. And in my head, I was thinking if I can do it at this time of the year, Christmas and all, you know, the holidays and stuff that I can do it any time of the year. So it's been so far so good. That's all I got to say. Like so far so good. So on December the 4th, I um, was 235 pounds. So today, December 28th, I am 216 pounds. So that's almost a 20 pound loss from December the 4th. And I guess that's not, you know, even a month. Maybe 20 something days. I'm not sure you do the math, but. So from December 4th to now on the 28th, I've lost like 19 pounds, I wanna say. So I think that's good, you know, it's been like, you know, a pound here, a pound here, a pound here, a pound here. So that's, that's, that's good. So I think in that short period of time, I want to add it up, but I can't add it up. It's in that short period of time, it's been, you know, the pro the progress has has been good. I I think it has been good, and I'm still working at it. But to me, I'm going to switch. Starting January first, I'm going to switch. Uh, I'm going to tweak it a little bit because I've been like doing a lot of research and I've been looking up the OMAD diet, the one meal a day diet, and I think like kind of that's what I I've kind of already been doing. Because I've been doing not the full liquid, but I've been doing like the the soups, and my soups have chunks and stuff in it, so it's kind of what I I kind of been doing anyway. But I'm just gonna eat a meal, and I think like I've been doing a lot of research on it, so that's something that I think I want to try starting after after January first. So for the month of January, I'm going to do, I'm going to eat one meal a day. And I think my window, because of the way I work, my window is going to be from 5 to 8. I'm not sure. From 5 p.m. to 8, I'm going to eat one meal in that, that, that window. One healthy meal. And I also started, um, after the day after Christmas, I started walking my treadmill which is, is, you know, it's downstairs and 
I just been lazy and not been getting on it. But the last few days started. I started this um, the day after Christmas. I think I walked a little bit on Christmas Day, but I, the day after Christmas, I know I walked like ten ten minutes. 15 minutes and then the day after that I did 30 minutes then yesterday I put it on incline and I did 15 minutes so I walked at a speed of three and I inclined it to number eight and like walk up the hill and I walked for 15 minutes so I'm not like really putting a time on it like I need to walk 30 minutes or I need to walk this I, as long as I can bust a sweat you know and i can put some hopefully i can you know get my speed back up to how i used to be um so i'm not really going to put a time in it, on it but what i'm going to say is is i at least want to walk my treadmill at least three minimum three times a week while i'm doing this hopefully i can push myself to do more but my minimum is three times a week so I will keep you guys posted on that. So I'm just here to let you know that I have had some progress with, you know, with the liquid diet. Um, my version of me doing my liquid diet for this month. Like it's, it's whatever I'm doing is, is, is working for me at this moment. So I just wanted to come on and share with you guys and give you guys that update. And then I'll probably come on again on January 3rd because that's my surge anniversary day, uh, which will make me four years out of the um, gastric sleeve um, surgery. So I'll talk more about that probably on that day. You know, talk more about, you know, regain and, you know, the struggle of, you know, staying focused and pushing yourself. So... Hopefully, my stats will be a little better by that day. But I just wanted to come on, do this video, and let you guys know the progress of the of my other video of me doing my liquid diet. And I just want you to keep me in your prayers and keep praying for me and keep encouraging me and keep pushing me to do the right thing and um, to stay strong and, you know, just stay focused. Thank you. Talk to you later. God bless.